Welcome back to Garden Ninja. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hard prune a shrub. Now the reasons why you need to hard prune a shrub is that it can help increase vigour in the plant. So as the plant gets older and more woodier, what you may find is that the foliage becomes sparser, doesn't flower as much, and altogether it looks a bit anemic, like it's kind of gone a bit gangly. So what I'm going to do today is to show you how to hard prune a shrub hopefully give you some reassurance that what you're doing is the right thing um, and then I can show you exactly how to do it so that you can hard prune. So the first thing to do is to take out the main lead stem. This will then send all the energy to the other sheets and help the plant bush out. Okay, so it's about to go. There we go. So you always want to make a clean cut in a diagonal fashion so that any water that falls on this newly cut stem can run off and it won't cause any rot. So we'll lift that out there. Oops. Right. Now what I'm going to do is work my way around and show you how to trim some of the smaller branches. So I'm going to be pruning back a third to half of the branches overall length. Any branches that are diseased, dead, damaged or crossing remove those two. And you always want to take it back just above a bud, cut a diagonal away from the bud so that any rainwater, any moisture can't sit there on that bud and cause it to rot. So you do need to be quite bold with this. My advice is keep going little by little Better to take off too little into too much so you get it into that shape with roughly a third to half of the shrub cut back. So there we have it. I've now finished the hard pruning of this vitinia. I've taken a good chunk off, probably nearly half of the plant. I've taken a lot out of the height, any dead material, crossing material, gone. And the reason for that is now that it's early spring, it'll put all its efforts into sending out new buds from these side shoots, which should then start to, to bush up more rather than getting taller and taller and thinner and thinner. So it's definitely worthwhile. Be brave, be bold, use sharp tools, um, and make sure it's not raining as well. So I've been Garden Ninja, if you've got any comments please leave them, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can watch more tips on things that you can do in your garden. Thanks for watching.